clause be in order, please rise from the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation follow. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, please bless our elected officials, grant them the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right for all citizens. Amen. 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 Roll call, please. Allen? Here. Green? Here. LaFour? Here. Mastarovich? Reindell? Here. Ricks? Here. Warren? Here. Uh, an excuse uh, for uh, Mike Mastarovich for being out of town would be in order? I'll make the motion. Support. Motion's been made in support. Is there any discussion? Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to approval of minutes for the City Council meeting of September 19th. Is there a motion? I'll make the motion. Support. What's been made in support? Any discussion on those minutes? Uh, Mr. Mayor, on the last page, which would be seven of seven, uh, under other businesses, says Moore made the motion to come out of closed session. I believe that should be worn. Uh, so. Yeah. Anything else? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to the audience comments on non-agenda items. You guys are on the agenda this evening. Chief, anything? No, sir. Okay, thank you. We'll move on. Uh, adoption agenda. Mr. City Manager, we have a change? Uh, yes. Uh, addition of item number five, the Knights of Columbus Tootsie Roll sale. Thank you. City Council, any changes? Motion to accept the amended agenda would be in order. I'll make the motion. Support. <clears throat> motion been made in support. Any discussion? Being not, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Is there a motion for the consent agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. Motion has been made in support. Any, there is no discussion on a consent agenda motion. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. We move on to items for consideration. We have five on the amended agenda. First one being consideration of Motorola proposal dispatch councils. Mr. City Manager. The City Council is scheduled to consider approving a proposal from Motorola for the purchase of two MCC 7500E dispatch console positions. Administration and City Council have been discussing this project uh, for the last two budget cycles um, and during uh, the budget discussions for fiscal year 22-23, uh, administration and council agreed to utilize funds from the $614,663 in ARPA funds that we are receiving. Uh, these upgrades are necessary to keep pace with the changing nature of uh, technologies and dispatch uh, and that the fact that ours are our two existing consoles are uh, no longer being serviced by Motorola and are uh, obsolete. Um, Chief Costello and I have had uh, several meetings with Ed Horvath from Motorola, um, Sean McCarthy from Macomb County Radio, uh, who's kind of watching this process for all the communities that are switching over uh, to make sure that uh, each community gets what they need, uh, has sat in and been very helpful uh, to make sure that uh, everything is in order. Um, uh, as we discussed, uh, with the county placing the tower here, there were several elements of that project uh, a couple of years ago when the radio tower was put out back uh, that were installed in anticipation of this. So for example, there's already a fiber optic line running from that tower into dispatch that's just been sitting there waiting for this project. So uh, there, uh, we're actually saving quite a bit of money due to that tower project. Um, but the proposal, uh, as with all things in the last few years, has gone up. Uh, the total cost now is 423489 uh, The lead time is roughly about six months. Uh, it does come with a five-year warranty. And uh, this is a sole source. Uh, the dispatch consoles, uh, the only one allowed to go onto the state system is uh, the Motorola. Uh, but they also are part of my deal, uh, so it covers it both ways uh, from our purchasing ordinance perspective. Uh, with that, uh, Chief Costello and I are here to 
hopefully answer any questions you may have. Thank you, Jen. <coughs> Chief, is there anything you'd like to add to that? I would just like to reiterate what uh, City Manager Moore said regarding Sean McCarthy. He's been a can't be understated uh, the help that he's uh, given us, his uh, technology knowledge and the way he uh, works. And I worked with him in my previous uh, job as well, so he's he's been fantastic. It's been going pretty smoothly. So very good, very good. Is there a motion? I make a motion to approve the proposal from Motorola for the purchase of two MCC 7500E dispatch console consoles and radio upgrades in the amount of $423,489 and utilize the city's ARPA funding for the purchase. Support. This one made and supported. Any discussion? Do we need to make a separate motion for the 20000 if they needed it, or would you come back for that? We'll come back. Um, with uh, the 20000 is if we need to do any type of electrical upgrades. Uh, we just recently created that location for dispatch when we moved City Hall over to here, if you recall, uh, that was just some offices for them. So we anticipate, and they've somewhat looked already, but um, that the majority of the electrical uh, is sufficient. Um, but during the pre-engineering meeting, uh, Motorola will send somebody out to verify all of that, you know, to make sure that the grounding is sufficient, things like that. If they if they find something that we need to incorporate, we will bring it back to council. What are we doing with the old ones? They're end of life, so uh, I know we're going to probably keep one as spare as a last resort, just in case. But I'm not sure what they're doing with the others. Mm -hmm. They're not any good to put in the fire department or anything like that. No. no there's no point. No. Okay. Okay. What about value for any parts or just re reselling them for other, maybe somebody else around the United States that might need parts? Yeah, I could I could talk to Sean McCarthy about that. Yeah. Um, but as they're end of life and they they don't have any uh, warranty value or anything like that, right. I don't know if anybody would buy them. Okay. Just a oh. Comment that I believe this is a, a good use of our ARPA funds. Uh, it's something we have saved up for, but it's because it's emergency. They're, they're, the way the ARPA funding is, I think this is a great use of it because it will last a long time. It's not a reoccurring, so we're not setting us ourselves up for something we'd have to continually fund. So I think this is a great usage of the funding. Um, we've had a lot of talk about this over the last year or so and uh it's here <laughs> um it bothers me to the point i mean I, i'm glad that we have the funds to do this uh we were going to do this as jamie said we were going to do this without arpa funds but um it bothers me that uh electronics are just constantly evolving every so many years uh you know they won't support it um that just seems like that's happening with everything today, uh, computers and, and everything. Um, planned obsolescence, a lot of people call it. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we want to stay in the dispatch business, and especially with the 911 service that we have for our community, uh, we've got to go this way. I don't, we have no other choice as far as I'm concerned. We like our autonomy. We like our own dispatch. Like We like our own police department, fire department, and so many of the other departments. So it's a justified cost. Uh, and a good use of the uh, ARPA funds. Anything else? Comments from the audience? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Item number two is consideration of MERS study proposal, Plant Moran. City Manager. City Council is scheduled to consider approving a proposal from Plant Moran's Employee Benefits Consulting Practice to review the Police Department's MERS retirement system as well as their compensation and benefits through the union contract. As we have discussed previously with recent changes, MERS has incorporated into their actual actuarial evaluations. Uh, the employee's contribution towards their retirement has steadily climbed 
for the last four years, uh, causing us to have some concerns on the sustainability of, of this program. Um, unfortunately, uh, once you get into retirement systems and actuarials, uh, you quickly uh, kind of outpace any expertise that uh, either the treasurer or myself has. Um, and so uh, we've kind of discussed this a little bit during the previous kind of budgets and contract negotiations that at some point we need some uh, expert assistance uh, to come in and help us uh, review uh, our own plan, uh, the plans of our neighbors, and, and the overall compensation package. So uh, that's what this would do. Uh, it's kind of a separate uh, group within Plant Moran, so it's not the people that do our audit, it's uh, they've hired people that are experts in this area, uh, and that's what they do, uh, and so uh, this would be for um, kind of reviewing the, the current state, uh, also interviewing employees and, and surveying employees, uh, as well as then analyzing all the data and, and information and coming up with uh, kind of recommendations. So, although expensive, it's uh, becoming uh, very clear that we need this help. Very good. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the proposal from Plant Moran in the amount of 20000 to 25000 to review the police department MERS retirement system as well as their compensation and benefits provided through the union contract. Support. What's been made and supported? Any discussion? As the city manager said, uh, We've got to do something here. Yeah. Those, those of us that were on council when this happened was hoping this would never happen. Yeah. And here we are. It was driven by uh, the employees. And um, one of the questions I have on this, it, would this study also inform us whether or not they can get out of MERS? I, I believe so. Okay. They, they'll also, when they come up with their recommendations, kind of examine Th that as one of the potential tracks okay uh, you, you know yes and and the legalities and and what you would have to do to do that okay yeah. great great was there a comment no it was a comment just because we have a great department and we we want to take care of them well and I think this is worth the money to show them to that we want to take care of them well and really evaluate what it is and everybody get educated about what their system actually is and what's involved in that. And I think that's really important um, when we go into those negotiations that everybody fully has a complete understanding of what it is that, that, that they have. And it just, I think, will make decisions much more clear. Anything else? Audience comments? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. All right. Aye. Aye. Against? Motion does pass. Item number three, consideration of special event requests, Shabby Pig, mobile food vendor. Mr. City Manager? The City Council is scheduled to consider a special event request for a mobile food vendor for the Shabby, Shabby Pig Boutique to have a mobile food vendor for their one-year anniversary event on Saturday, November 5th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, this request is for Hobo Coffee company to be set up outside the Shabby Pig. Uh, originally when the request came in it was for Main Street. Uh, looking at the photos of the trailer and everything, if it was parked correctly, at least from the photo we believe it may cause problems with people having to walk out onto Main Street to get their coffee. Um, so if you look at the map provided in the background brief, um, the owners uh, agreed that kind of that first spot in the municipal parking lot would be a better location for it um, than, than right out front on Main Street. So, uh, and both owners are here tonight. Uh, if you have any questions. Thank you. Is there a motion before discussion? I make a motion to approve the special event request for a mobile food vendor from the Shabby Pig Boutique to have a mobile food vendor Hobo Coffee Company for their one year anniversary event on Saturday, November 5th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and to allow them to use one space in the municipal parking lot for the coffee trailer. Support. What's been made and supported? Any discussion? Would you guys like to speak to this? <laughs> <laughs> Microphone, please, for the people at home. This is weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So when we were planning for our one year anniversary, which is huge for us, not only has the time flown, but we're doing good, you guys, and hopefully we'll be here for a very long time. But we wanted to bring something into the community as, you know, not only a thank you, but something to show them that they're appreciated for coming in and shopping with us, but at the same time, something that's not gonna take away from the other local businesses. So the Hobo Coffee Co., I came across them. It's such a cute little vintage trailer. Um, they do, you know, just a bunch of hot coffees and nice coffees and perfect for this time of year. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to get permission to, you know, show everybody something different. Okay, very good. Show that they're appreciated. And yeah. Council have any questions? Do not. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Item number four is consideration of board appointment planning commission. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider confirming the mayor's appointment to the planning commission. There are currently uh, two vacancies on the board. Thank you. Is there a motion? I would ask that you would uh, confirm uh, my appointment of Kevin Mish to the planning commission. Uh, Kevin has background, uh, municipal background, in many, many years in municipal background, especially in, uh, I believe it's Macomb Township. Uh, he uh, works in the Department of Public Works area, um, and I think he'd be very beneficial for our planning commission. Um, that expertise uh, would would be welcomed uh, on our board. So I would ask uh, that council would confirm the appointment. Is there a motion? I make the motion to confirm the mayor's appointment of Kevin Mish to the planning commission for a three-year term with an expiration date of June 30th, 2025. Support. Once we made and supported, any discussion? So we'll have the one vacancy, uh, and I have requested uh, another person uh, for that, so I'm hoping that comes in uh, soon. And, um, this, I really feel Kevin's going to be a, a great addition to our planning commission. Very happy that he has uh, agreed to this after I bent his arm a couple of times. So. Any comments? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Uh, item number five, KFC Tootsie Roll sale. Mr. City Manager. Council is scheduled to consider the request received from the Knights of Columbus to conduct the annual Tootsie Roll sale on Friday, October 7th, and Saturday, October 8th. Uh, this is the same sale they've done in previous years. Uh, again, administration would ask that on Friday uh, that they stay out of the main and division intersection from 2.30 to 3.30 uh, due to the increase in school traffic, but everything else, well, including that, is pretty much the same. Very good. Is there a motion? I make a motion to approve the request received from the Richmond Knights of Columbus to conduct their Tootsie Roll sale at the intersections of Main and Division and County Line Road, St. Clair Highway, City Side, on Friday, October 7th and Saturday, October 8th, 2022, from dawn to dusk, that the Knights of Columbus agree not to be in the Main Division intersection on Friday, October 7th, from 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m., and further, that the Knights of Columbus agree to sign a liability waiver. Support. Most been made and support. Any discussion on this item? This is something that... Uh, They've done for many, many years. Comments from the public? Back to the table. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against? Motion does pass. Miscellaneous matters from the city manager, sir. Uh, MDOT was in town today getting prepping uh, for the switch over to the new signals, which should uh, occur tomorrow. Uh, they'll kind of be out in the lanes, kind of getting the signals ready so you might have to be shifting a little bit tomorrow if you're going through that intersection uh, but that should be operational by the end of the day the new signals um, Wednesday they'll come in and remove all the, the old strain poles and and things like that in the wire and get that out of there and they have other restoration things to do the rest of this month but um, uh, the signal itself should be operational by the end of tomorrow um, the new addition of the Excuse me, should we clap? <laughs> no, it's not done yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, let's, let's wait. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. 
Um, the new edition of the fall <laughs> newsletter is out today. Uh, it's online. You can get it on the website, or uh, I believe uh, Nicole will be driving uh, copies around tomorrow to many of the restaurants, uh, as well as like library, city hall, and community center. Good. Council comments, Dennis. Uh, nothing tonight. Rob. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Emily. Nothing. Thank you. Amy. Nothing. Coming back to me. Um, we had a big water main break on Main Street, and I see it's closed up already. Did closed they, up. Yep. Did um, they fix it? They did. Uh, we had to chase it a little bit to the south, about five feet more of concrete removal Is that uh, right? than yeah. we did it originally. Uh, yeah. But they were able to do it. Um, had luckily. Uh, our supplier had uh, quite a few different sizes of clamps that they brought out to us today and uh, took a little bit larger one than we normally stock so um, but uh, yeah the DPW got in first thing this morning and got down to it you know any of the water main breaks on main streets uh, always difficult because uh, when you look at that street as opposed to our other streets it's six inches of asphalt and underneath that is four inches of concrete um, so you know where our other streets are just the asphalt and then into the limestone so uh, here you're kind of digging through both asphalt and concrete to get down to the limestone and then going from there so good uh, job sometimes good job. yeah they did a did a great job and um, we kind of borrowed all of the uh, M dots uh, barrels that have been Is that where they around. all came from? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they were very a nice were, job. Uh, <laughs> very uh, nice to let us borrow them, but you know, like Jim said, for as long as they've been sitting there, we're glad to get yeah, some yeah. use out of them. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, uh, let's go to the uh, <coughs> announcements we have. Um, we have beginners yoga. And that is a drop-in class on Mondays and Wednesdays from 6 to 7. Uh, this is at the Richmond Middle School. And this is put on by our uh, Parks and Rec. Uh, for more information, again, 727-3064. Um, black and Broom Paint Class, Thursday, October 6th, 7 to 9.30 p.m. It's at our Richmond Community Center. Uh, the instructor is Rose Gottler, and there is a fee for that. Also, questions on that um, would be 810-892-3000. Uh, we have one more movie in the park. Uh, it's been moved to October 15th. Uh, it originally was scheduled for October 8th. It is Jurassic Park. Bring your, the family your blankets, chairs, and snacks, and come to watch a movie in BB Street Park. I believe that is at dusk. There is no set time here. Yeah, at dusk. At when, dusk. Yep. Okay. All right. And that's uh, that is a no charge item. So it's a free movie in the park. Move to October fifteenth. The uh, Richmond Volunteer Fire Department this Saturday will have their sixteenth. Oh, it's okay. Um, I thought it was this this Sunday. I have to cook my own. So Sunday, October 16th, the Pancake Breakfast and Open House at the uh, Richmond Volunteer Fire Department. It's all you can eat pancake breakfast from 8 to 12 uh, with a free will donation. Then there will be a free lunch of hot dogs and chips, bake sale. Uh, there will be demonstrations, an obstacle course, and of course our fire trucks on display. It's another family fun event here that will be held on October 16th at the fire department. And our annual 2022 Scarecrow Decorating Contest that's put on by the Recreation Department. Uh, there is a $10 fee. Uh, families can do it, business clubs, organizations uh, can do all of that, and uh, it's decorating the poles along Main Street. Um, again, any questions on that, you can contact Parks and Recreation uh, Monday through Thursday, 727-3064. We go to the calendar for October, and we have a recreation board meeting that will start at 6 o'clock, which is a walkthrough meeting uh, being held over at Bailey and BB Parks as an annual uh, item that the, or that the uh, Park and Rec people do just to check out our parks. A uh, week from tonight is a library board meeting at 530 we have a cable commission meeting on the 11th at 7 o'clock, and the planning commission 
is meeting. Yes. Okay. Uh, on the 13th at 7 o'clock, that's all right here uh, at City Hall. Now, we mentioned the pancake breakfast on the 16th, and that really takes care of the calendar for the next two weeks. Is there anything else that we needed to add to the calendar at all? No? Okay. Um, is there any other business of the City Council this evening? Be not motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion been made and supported. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Against. Motion does pass. Good evening. Thanks for being with us.